professor of University of Tehran, Mr. Mohammad Marandi, joins us now on the line uh, from the Iranian capital. Professor Marandi, welcome to the program. Now, all signs uh, of the negotiations pointed to an agreement being reached at this round of the Geneva negotiations. But observers believe that the last-minute trips by the uh, foreign ministers of the European countries, including Senator John Kerry, actually resulted in a deal not being reached. How do you perceive the uh, final stages of the negotiations in Geneva? Well, it's difficult to uh, give an accurate analysis from afar, but I think that uh, uh, it's possible that uh, the Western governments, uh, the British, the French, and the Americans, as well as the Germans, uh, they sent their foreign ministers in order to put pressure on Iran to accept uh, a deal that's really not in Iran's interest. And I think that uh, the fact that the Iranian delegation uh, did not submit to any unreasonable demands made by uh, Western regimes and governments shows that, uh, contrary to Western expectations, that Iran, uh, after the new government in Iran coming to power, is going to relinquish uh, Iranian rights with regards to its uh, nuclear program. Uh, so, in a sense, it's, uh, it's uh, not a good sign that there was no agreement. Uh, but on the other hand, I think it is a good sign uh, because it shows that the Iranian delegation uh, does speak from a position of strength and the Iranian delegation uh, is adamant that the rights of the Iranian people be preserved. And I think that in the long run, without a doubt, uh, the Iranian um, uh, position uh, will be not only safeguarded by our uh, representatives, but also I think Western countries will finally have to come to the recognition that no matter what um, government comes to power in Iran, uh, they will have to uh, recognize the Iranian government's insistence for Iranian rights to be preserved. Uh, let's also turn our attention uh, to the uh, Israelis. Uh, describe for us the, uh, the behavior and the comments of the uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, as the talks were uh, conducting in Geneva. Just uh, uh, describe the negativity of the Israelis and how displeased they were at, uh, at the sight uh, of a deal being reached on the issue. Well, again, it's very difficult to say because, on the one hand, it could be sincere anger, and of course, the Israeli regime's prime minister is a very uh, irrational and uh, silly character at times. But, uh, but then again, it could be, um, in, in the eyes of some, uh, a good cop, bad cop uh, sort of situation. Uh, really, the important thing is not what the French foreign minister says or what the Israeli regime's prime minister says. The important thing is that uh, Western countries uh, are going to have to slowly come to this recognition that the Iranian delegation, no matter whether it's uh, Undersecretary of State, uh, the U.S. Undersecretary of State, or the Secretary of State, or the U.S. President who participates in these sessions, uh, the Iranian side is not going to relinquish any of its rights within the framework of the NPT. The Iranians are willing to be um, flexible. The Iranians are willing to give extra access uh, to uh, help resolve any ambiguities that may exist with regards to the Iranian program, assuming that uh, the questions Western countries have are sincere, and there's great doubt about that. But, uh, but the Iranian government, President Rouhani, has said very specifically, and so has the foreign minister, that Iran will not give up enrichment and Iran will not give up any of its rights within the framework of the NPT. So the Western countries may be slow in recognizing this, but I think as time goes by, they will begin to recognize the seriousness of the uh, Iranian side. Thank you very much, uh, Professor of University of Tehran, Mr. Mohammad Marandi, uh, for sharing your thoughts with us here on Press TV.